<laughs> okay. So in a few, a few weeks, I see your account is disabled. So yes, in my Instagram, I decide to to make a little a little break of social media. Um, but a yes, lot of work a lot of things, a lot of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. I have to manage a lot of stuff and work. So uh, sometimes I I, I lost uh, my time in uh, social media, and I need this time for me and uh, to manage all all things that uh, that I need. Um, but yeah, I coming back. <laughs> I'm very happy today, very excited to see you in person. I'll chat with you and a music series I created. It's very important to me as an artist uh, to communicate with the artists around the world, to write about them and uh, a lot of stuff, you know. And I send you the questions before, right? Yes, yes. Questions. Okay, okay. Um, so... How was art in your country? I mean, music, cinema, movies, culture, painting. Um, about Portugal, um, I think um, uh, it's, it's not like a big production uh, like uh, France or the United Kingdom because Portugal is a, a small country and uh, um, the, you, you have some options like and uh, um, some good directors like uh, in in cinema like uh, João César Monteiro um, uh, and more um, um, Manuel Oliveira. Uh, it's a, a great director mm -hmm. in cinema in Portugal. And about uh, music, you have a lot of things because uh, Portugal. Portugal um, is uh, very multi multicultural, and it's a good thing. You have uh, music from Africa, music from um, uh, influenced by uh, North African co culture and um, Brazilian culture. So it's like a mix of influence. Um, you have fad in Portugal. Uh, yes, I understand. Um, I understand. Fado, uh, Kant, uh, Lindjan, uh, and um, Vira. Um, so it's a lot of things and um, a lot of new styles uh, influenced by um, um, Africa, Africa countries like uh, Angola and Cabo Verde, you have Kuduro, Kizomba all these types of styles together. So I think Portugal, uh, besides um, is um, uh, sm small uh, space, uh, you can find a lot of div diversity in uh, many places. So I think it's, uh, it's good. Okay. But uh, in Iraq are going down day by day. No yeah. Art. Yeah, yeah. That's so sad. Day by me. day, it's yeah. No electronic music, no creative. No one care about art. Even I tell you, I want to, to go to study audio and visual and an institute fine art in Iraq. But I see when I go and meet people, uh, I see the teachers, I see the students. No one care. Uh, even I contact with some of artists. They graduate from the same an institute, and they tell me. Uh, don't go and study because they tell you we will give you a 40 percent from knowledge but they will give you nothing indeed in fact yeah it's uh That's so, so sad. i shred tears when it's I really it's, re it's really sad um because i think uh culture in general is freedom it's about freedom it's about um uh, speak oh, so uh, about your emotions, your feelings, your ideas. So if um, if you if you not encourage uh, um, to make things related with culture, is uh, uh, um, a way to um, to condition people. So I I, I think uh, it's it's important. Um, 
It's very important. It's very important to encourage people uh, to do art uh, uh, and learn things about um, all type of all type of kinds of arts, like uh, cinema, music, um, um, poetry, for sure, uh, everything. So. That's a problem, I think. Yes, this big problem in Iraq happened. But uh, yeah. no one knows about the electronic music, about this field. And that makes me so sad because no one even cared about any kind of art. No one. But I rejected, fully rejected. So electronic music in Iraq is a, um, a, big a small problem. place. A big it's problem. A yeah, it's a, it's like a small a small place uh, for electronic music. Um, how many artists um, do you know that uh, make electronic music in Iraq? In Iraq, okay, okay. In Baghdad, me and Farouk Adel is a producer and artist. It's my close friend. We are just two people playing electronic. Two music people. In Baghdad. Yes. <laughs> yeah. In Baghdad, it's, I, it's, I know two people. It's, it's we, sad. Okay. Because um, for sure, I I Iraq and uh, for sure has um, like so so many influence, so so culture, and um, and it's really sad that um, people uh, uh, not be um, encouraged to to make music and uh, and learn how, how to do music in. Uh, with software and uh, DAW and um, art, nothing, hardware. Nothing, 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 no hardware, no software, no even a music store, nothing. That's a big problem. Yeah, it's a big problem. So I try day by day uh, to share this kind of art, not electronic music. Any kind of field. I know some of bands in Iraq, rock and metal. I contact with them and I make interview with them online. I not meet them personally. So yes, they are good. Yeah. And uh, in the end, I want to make art uh, more creative and uh, more easy to understand to our people. But I can't. Yeah. I can't change forty million. I'm one. Yeah. It's 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 difficult. <laughs> well, okay. Should we back to our interview? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. So, question number one: How you start making electronic music? Can you tell me about your story in art and how to become a composer? How many time you get? <laughs> okay, for sure. It's not um, a great story but uh, i started to make uh, electronic music when i was a teenager in high school so my eyes uh, production, I think. It's yeah my eyes for, okay the, for, <laughs> the eyes first production. time mm -hmm. that um i i opened a daw uh, was in in my logic teenage pro time. user right you are logic pro uh, I, I used um, FL Studio and sometimes Ableton, uh, but uh, um, in in this time I downloaded uh, a, a, a crack of uh, Fruity Loops uh, like um, uh, twelve years ago. <laughs> it's a long time. So and do, uh, do you like to use crack? Maybe crack plugins? No, no, no. Uh, nowadays, uh, I have everything paid. But uh, at time, uh, the, fir the first time that I start to use a DAW, I, uh, I look for a crack in internet and uh, I mm -hmm. downloaded a, a crack version of FL Studio. And I started to make beats. Uh, and um, after a year, uh, my interest about music uh, grew and uh, I decided uh, taking some classical piano lessons. So uh, my instrument... Uh, online, the piano, piano lessons online or you go to... No, 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 no. Um, uh, with the teacher um, in press. Yes, teacher, teacher. Right? Yeah, with the, with the teacher. Some lessons... Um, uh, 
some lessons yeah. now about the theories of, about the class yeah, uh, 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 right now. Uh, no. Yeah, about uh, uh, mostly about practicing piano and understand how to play piano. Uh, so I studied um, like uh, uh, classical music, like Mozart, Bach, Chopin, and this type of sound. <laughs> I know that. Yes. <laughs> Re, uh, many diff different of electronic uh, music stuff, but this uh, was my first uh, contact with with music. So. Um, I start uh, to make random beats um, in FL Studio, and after a year, with my uh, 16 years old, I um, I taking um, I started taking some uh, classical piano lessons, and uh, I learned learned um, uh, uh, classical music uh, composers. So. That's my um, my first um, in, um, my first uh, impression with with music and in general. Oh, very interesting. Okay, should we jump to the second question? Can you hear me? Yes, of course. Yeah, you okay. can jump for the for second question. Yes. Okay, so question two, what made you want to become a musician? Okay, um, I think um, um, my, my desire when I, I uh, start to learn electronic music was to express my feelings, uh, my ideas, um, and I, um, I found uh, a good place um uh in electronic music for for do it so i was a teenager with with um, some troubles and uh, some uh anxiety anxiety issues and uh for me making music in fl studio at the time um uh, was like uh, a shelter, like a safe place to express my ideas, my feelings, and I think was it. So um, I f that's that's my ambition when uh, um, I I go away for making music. It's it's um, it's a way to um, to ex to express. Um, uh, all, all the things that live, in, live inside me. So, uh, and I like uh, to show um, uh, all, all my friends and people uh, this type of things that live inside me. So music um, has this power, the power that uh, you can materialize an idea. Um, and I, for me, that's it. I try um, uh, to write poetry, but mu music was more um, like more. Um, um, I don't know more. Uh, uh, more more much easy. Feeling, much, much feeling. Much yeah, feeling. Much feeling. Much friendly. Yes. 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 Uh, okay. I understand. Okay. So okay. Question three. Do you have any hobbies or interests outside of music? Yes, I really enjoy um, uh, to read. I like to read books about sociological and psychological uh, subjects. Um, yeah. I love uh, cook. I'm not a good uh, um, cooker, okay. but I like to cook and... Um, I love um, um, um. Okay. okay. Take your time. Um, but yes, it's mo uh, the most um, important thing that I like to do is uh, cook, uh, read about sociological and psychological subjects, 
um, and other stuff like uh, sci-fi, what watching movies, um, sci-fi movies, soundtracks behind the scenes, sci-fi movies, horror horror films, um, drama, um, this type of uh, um, of, of of style. But um, um, I think uh, this all these type of things uh, is uh, related because um, when when I make music, I inspired myself um, by uh, read sociological and so sociological uh, subjects. Uh, so disorder and um, my album Asylum. It's about it's about it. It's about sociological and psychological uh, subjects. So I think all all these type of interests are related in at some way with music and uh, with me. That's your style. Yeah. So, what is your genre you play? My genre. Yes. Um, the music. Yeah, it's, it starts to. Uh, to say it, I think it's like a mix between bass music, uh, experimental stuff, IDM, um, ambient music. It's not a particular kind of, of style. It's uh, a, a mix uh, with many styles, many... Um, you mix uh, many styles and maybe one style you yes, like? Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I, I'm, many I'm not... I'm not focused in particular type of sound. I, I uh, try different things, uh, different genres, and uh, try to a mix various, all, various all artists, these uh, together. A various yeah. artists and a various genre. Yeah, um, of course, you can find some um, some influences like ambient music, uh, glitch music, glitch aesthetic. Um, dark melodies, dark atmospheres, but I think it's like sound, it's about sound exploration and experimental stuff. So that's it. Okay. Question four, what kind of a music gear you used? Okay, I, I use uh, mostly uh, software and my, and my lap laptop. Yes, so uh, a lot of plugins um, um, like uh, Fab Filter, Serum, Massive, FM8, um, and uh, most recently. A good collection I, of VST plugins. Yeah, a lot of VST plugins. Um, but uh, uh, I, I, I commonly use. Most of the times, uh, Serum, Massive, FM8, Reactor. Um, Reactor 6, right? Yeah, Reactor 6. From Naive with, with the blocks, it's like a, um, a modular system, you know? So you can build your blocks and... Um, yes, it, it's, I, I know, it's, I it's like modular. Uh, it's like modular synth. Um, and uh, most recently, I... Um, start uh, to use um, hardware. So I have uh, Prophet uh, by Dave Smith, um, uh, a grandmother, uh, a MOOC grandmother, uh, a Lyra by Soma. Um, a, um, a MOOC DFM, it's like a SME mo modeler uh, uh, synthesizer. You sync and, with uh, you sync it with a uh, Moog model thirty two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can sync it um, by MIDI or um, by clock. So yes, it's sync it or, or with grandmother or with mother uh, thirty two. Yes, you can sync uh, with uh, these two. Uh, but uh, it's uh, a, a recent. Um, uh, a, a recent um, um, acquisition. So I start to use hardware uh, uh, one year ago. So um, uh, most part of my tracks are um, um, made with uh, software and plugins and a laptop. And I think you just need them 
uh, you you don't need hardware. Hardware it's um, it, it, it's just different. It's not better or worse. It's just different. Um, some sometimes it's more fun to yes, use hardware just and, and software. Some, a pro touch, professional touch, some touch, beautiful touch. When you yeah, use I it. Think, uh, 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 change the process or the thing that or the way that you um, you think uh, about music so when, when the, the, the way that the way good. that I make a track in on software with plugins is different that uh, when I use um, uh, hardware and analog synthesizers so it, sometimes it's more fun to use plugins uh, and other times it's more fun use hardware and analog uh, synthesizers so it's just different it's not better or worse it's make uh, i they think the most important great. thing they're is your great. idea and if the music is good or not so it's not about the gear that you have it's about your idea your create create uh, your creativity and um, your um, your passion, so. So, question five. Who's your favorite artist or person you look up in the industry? My favorite art, artist? Um, uh, maybe um, I, I have to say Kebers, Thomas Dennis, because um, it, uh, he influenced me so much. Uh, he was so original, so creative. Um, the sound, um, his sound is so unique, uh, so original, really weird and alien. Um, so uh, for me, he's probably my uh, favorite art artist so far. So, um, but I have what, other other artists that I, I like so much, I re I really enjoy a Montaubin, um, uh, mostly um, um, yeah the the sound that uh, he made on nineties like uh, super modified album and um, bricolage, um, so a Montaubin was. Um, and it's a big influence on my work, on my stuff. But um, I, uh, I, I like to uh, minimalist electronic music uh, like Alvanotto, uh, Ryushi Sakamoto, Ryoji Aikeda, um, uh, Robert Lipok, uh, this kind of, of sound, uh, more minimalist and uh, 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 it's a different approach. So, um, um, if I if I, uh, I I talk about electronic music influence, I think uh, these are um, the most um, important artists that influenced me influenced me on my stuff. Um, but um, of course. Uh, um, uh, I have I have another other so um, I love Eric Satie. It's like impressionist uh, uh, music. It's, it's very dif different of electronic music, of course. But uh, Satie, I, I think, he influenced so so much artists uh, like FX Twin and uh, Brian Eno. All this type of, of ambient music was influenced by uh, Sati. Eric Sati was a pioneer in ambient music, like uh, uh, 100 years ago, so a long time. Uh, and I think that's it, yeah. Okay. So, Another question. Do you think anyone can be a musical artist? Of course. And uh, nowadays with all these um, te 
technology technology around you um uh so it, it's uh, you just need um to be open to learn a new language because music is like a new language so you just need um to be open to learn uh how uh how to use a jw uh how to use um a software a plugin how to mix uh, so you have a lot of uh, tutorials on internet. So it's a good thing because uh, everything is um, is easier now. So you just need uh, to be to be open. Uh, we have the internet and the technology, yes. Yes. Um, if, if you have this need, you, you can do it. Uh, I, I think... Um, 20 or 30 years ago, it was so much difficult to make music and electronic music. Everything was so um, expensive, uh, all, the bu all the budget, all the hardware. Uh, so to, uh, to make music in the studio like 30 or years ago, it's really difficult. Um, many few people uh, um, did it so uh, nowadays uh, i think he, he, it's better it's a good thing uh, everyone can can be an artist can be a musician you just need um, um, to learn some things and to be interested about music about software about tech technology um, um, and that's it i, I it's um, it's amazing this time. You need an inspiration. I think it's yes. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, of course, and listen. Um, uh, I think it's uh, a really important thing to listen to other artists, or other genres of music, other uh, types of styles. Uh, listen jazz music, listen classical music, n not just electronic music. Listen rock, uh, listen pop. Um, so uh, uh, you you a lot turn of things, more rich. A lot of things. A lot of things. Yeah. Take years. Take years. Yeah. yeah. Take years. A lot of patience. A lot of hard work. Um, yeah. You you have to practice um, a lot and uh, learn things all all days. You um, every day I learn a new thing about electronic music, about a new software, about a new plugin. Uh, uh, so it's I, I think it's fantastic. Great. So okay, question seven. What's your main inspiration? Okay. Um, it's it's difficult to say it because. Uh, can be a, a, a good movie, can be um, um, a, a, a good uh, a conf conversation with someone. Uh, a, a, good, a good talk can 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 inspire me, or um, or uh, or a, a, a music that I that I listen. So. Um, it, Every day is different because uh, uh, you can be inspired with so many things, with so um, many content. Um, it, it, it just don't uh, just a thing. It's a lot of things. Um, so uh, I think every every day is a, a new form of uh, inspiration. Uh, some new artists, artists, or some new music that I I listen inspire me. Um, uh, a little chat with someone, uh, a book that I read. Um, you you can be inspired with a, a lot of things, with a lot of stuff. Um, so. It's um, it's it's not just a thing. It's a, I think it's a lot of things of, of variety. Um, 
I think uh, inspiration it's a, a complex a, a complex uh, process. It's um, it's not easy to ex to explain it. Um, yes, complex process. You're right. Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of things. So another question, maybe the last question. <laughs> okay. So what is your creative process like? Okay. Um, my, my, it's always different because sometimes I can start to make a beat or to write a melody or um, just scratch uh, some, some plugins and effects. And other times I just input uh, 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 an analog synthesizer in my audio interface and uh, I start to move some knobs. So it's uh, it's not it's, it's not the same process. Uh, um, it, it's changed a lot. So sometimes I uh, uh, turn on my modular system and, and move some knobs and um, connect some cables and start to make music. And other other days I open F FL Studio, Ableton Live, and uh, start to make a beat and uh, uh, put some effect, effects on um, on a channel and uh, start to build some some idea. Um, it, it's not uh, it's different every day. So. Um, and I think it's fun because if you have uh, uh, every day the same process, it's, uh, it's boring in my opinion. So it, I think it's important to change uh, the way that you um, make things and make music because um, if you change uh, your process, you, um, you discover new things, you learn uh, about new stuff, and uh, and um, you can achieve welcome mistakes. And I think electronic music and experimental music is about uh, welcome mistakes, um, uh, uh, little little fails that open in, uh, that occur in your process. So um, yeah, I think it's in, it's important. Um, to to sh to change um, the way that that you start to make a music, sometimes it's good uh, uh, to start with um, a melody or with um, uh, a harmony. Another times you can uh, start uh, to um, to make a beat. So uh, I think that's it. Um, a lot of things. A lot of things. I, yeah, I understand. I understand. Okay, so remaining meeting time. Do you see it? That's Mark? No. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Yes. Yes, yes. Because yes. we have okay. a basic account, not your <laughs> account. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Zoom, uh, give us 40 minutes of video calling or voice calling. And uh, yes. Maybe we so have we have six okay. we have six uh, six minutes. That's it. Okay, okay. So I I have my last question, but it's okay for the time. Go ahead, so, go ahead. Okay. So, what strength do you have that believe really make you a great musician? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not a great musician. Um, I'm, I I not consider myself a great mus musician. I just do my my own stuff. You you know, uh, if you if you ask me if I think am I original or creative, maybe because I try to be the most honest version of myself. But I not consider myself a great musician or a great artist. Um, I just do my own stuff with all my failures, with the, all my mistakes, and try uh, to be open um, uh, and new things uh, and new possibilities. So I think that's it. You you don't be um, amazing on making music. You just be. Uh, you just need to be yourself. 
and make your thing and make your music. Um, it's it's not it's not about if you are good or bad. It's about uh, to be authentic, to be genuine with uh, your own art. I think that's most important thing about making mu music or making or make uh, other type of art. Just to be uh, honest with uh, yourself. Wow. Yes, you're right. Okay. Thank you for everything, my friend. I appreciate the greeting from Iraq and uh, greeting from my lovely country. And uh, see you around. <laughs> it's a it's a great honor, uh, my friend. So um, we. I think we in the future soon. maybe make some collaborative audio music, share it together. Yeah, yeah. We make uh, some for support. Sure we can. We we can make some collab in 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 the future for sure. Of course, um, uh, I'm looking uh, forward uh, to do that. Yeah, uh, sometimes I have a uh, uh, few time to make labs because um, uh, actually I'm uh, doing uh, um, uh, uh, I'm doing lessons in high school, so uh, so, uh, so I. Um, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a teacher in high school in Portugal. I, I'm doing soci sociology le lessons. So uh, um, I have, um, I don't have uh, so much time to make music uh, like um, I desire. So, uh, but of course we, we can collab uh, for sure in, in future. In um, Looking forward to do that, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, my friend. <laughs> I will check your new album. Be because um, make make music with other people is very important because you yes. you, you you learn uh, so much with um, when when you collab with uh, uh, other people because you, your your mind change. Uh, every every guy, every person. Uh, as a different way to make things, so um, collab is uh, a really good way, a really good way to improve uh, and to learn uh, new things. Yes, so, yes, you're right. You're right. Yes, you're I, right. I, I, um, yes, for sure. We we should be collab um, in a, in a, uh, someday. <sighs> Thanks for a great interview, my friend. I'm really happy today. Really excited for this <laughs> interview and meet you in person. I'll chat with you and a lot of yeah. things. For me, it was, was a, it's, it's a it's honor, honor to friend. me, my friend, to meet you, it's chat a, with it's you. A, it's a great about uh, pleasure to meet you in first person, you know. Um, um, and um, yeah, we, we, we talk soon for sure. <laughs> of course, see you around. I will check your <laughs> album. Yes, you great new album. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.